What are you seeing out there, Buster? It ain't good. It ain't good. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to Texas. This afternoon, me and Colin Clary from Smack 'em Outdoors, we're doing a little bit of scouting here. We just got done farming. Sunflower harvest is all done. We're scouting a goose feed right now that has a ton of birds in it. So that's about it. We're going to head around, do a little scouting tonight, and uh, you guys will see some of that. And then tomorrow, we're going to head out here, and we are just going to mukbang these. There's bands everywhere. Yeah, it's bad. They can't even fly. There's so much metal on their legs, and they are so heavy. Uh, it's not good. And we're going to absolutely mukbang. It's going to be gross, so you guys are going to have to stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys click that subscribe button. But yeah, with that said, we're going to head out and scout, so. Yeah, hello? Yeah, can I get a bag of Fruity Pebbles to room 69? Yeah, and a thick Latina. I'm actually the fastest reader in the world. <laughs> Well, it's 10.48. I need uh, some sort of noise to sleep, so I got a fan noise I usually use to go to bed here. Good morning, everyone. Me and Colin, we just got the spread set up. We got a mix of about 25 dozen Canada silhouettes out. Hopefully we can shoot some birds here. It is shooting light and we're just waiting on the geese to fly, but we got a really good wind this morning, a good north wind, and it's pretty chilly out here. So I think it's gonna be good and these geese are gonna wanna get in this corn and feed. But this morning, I wanted to show you guys the Dive Bomb Industries kickback layout chair that I'm going to be using. You guys have probably seen this if you are subscribed to the channel. We have the Dive Bomb Industries ghillie blanket and this is a great combination. So the ghillie blanket, is nice and big and blends in super well. As you can see, I don't have much stubble in here at all, and it blends right in with this cornfield. But this blind chair is absolutely awesome. It packs away super easy. So you just fold it up once you are done and throw it in the back of your truck, and it is nice and small. I've been using this all season, and I've been loving the layout chair. I actually had it last season a little bit too, and it's been working great for me. So if you guys wanna check out the Dive Bomb Industries layout chair or the ghillie blanket that I am using today, make sure you guys go down in the description of this video and click on that Dive Bomb Industries link. As you can tell already, I got the old bow out here. I didn't really want to use the bow in the layout just because uh, I've been trying it a little bit this season and it's pretty brutal using the bow in the layout. It, uh, it's a lot tougher than in the A-frame or something like that, but I decided to bring it in case they were landing right in the spread. We're going to use the bow and if they're not cooperating and coming in and landing close, then we're going to get the shotgun out. I have both with me. With that said, me and Colin, we're going to wait it out here and we'll see you guys when some geese come in. I brought the bow along to maybe try it, but the bow in the layout is just tough. If I was trying to shoot him just out of the air, maybe, but we're not going to be picky. I have to shoot a limit, and Colin has to shoot a limit, so we're filming for each other. I'm not going to burn all these flocks with just my bow. I'm going to get the gun out, and the bow can come out tomorrow when we get the A-frame out, but for today, I'm going to grab the gun. We're going to mukbang a few of these things. <coughs> Ready in the front on these three? Yep. <laughs> 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 
Let's go, dude. On these three. Six for six on the morning, let's go. Oh, no. Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's kind of cool. There's not, not really ever a lot of ducks in this area. Me and Colin earlier saw two mallards circle in the field and those are probably the same two mallards, so. Oh, I did get the hen. All right, well, most of those geese came at once, which kind of sucks that they didn't really trickle over. But we're kind of being picky, trying to take close shots. If we wanted to just like start poking at geese, we could probably both have our limit. But right now we're sitting at three apiece. So we both tripled the times we shot, and then I shot one duck. So we're at six geese, one duck, and uh, not too bad, but most of these geese started landing in a field behind us, and now all the geese are going to them. So it's not ideal, but we're gonna sit here and wait it out, and hopefully we can get some uh, midday groups here to trickle in. I don't know what happened on the last one. Goose number four for me. I could shoot four more, but Colin could shoot five, so we got more to go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta blast them out there, you know? It's, it's been slow, and we had that little group uh, work around us, and it was a poke, it was probably like a 60 yard shot, something like that, and I just decided to shoot one, because it's been slow, so that's my fifth goose, and probably the first birds we've seen within, I don't know, the last 30, 45 minutes that have actually been coming to feed, so decided to get one, and we got one down, so not too bad.
somebody say? Did somebody say seven for seven? Oh my god, bro, I wasn't recording. You're trolling. <laughs> Shooty shooty, I'm seven for six for six this year. <laughs> no, I'm six for six today. Okay, well, it is about 10.30 right now, and everything's pretty much just sitting on water or sitting in the field still. Nothing's really flying around anymore. Me and Colin, we're cold out in this wind. We're hungry, so we're gonna get out of here. We got 11 geese and a duck, I believe, right now. Uh, we're gonna go clean our birds. We're gonna eat us a little lunch, and we're gonna come back out here, and we're gonna try to finish off our last, what, five geese? Six, five geese. I need three geese, I believe. Colin needs two more. And we're gonna try to scratch that out here quick, uh, early afternoon, late afternoon, hopefully, since it is overcast. And hopefully we still have enough time to scout tonight. But we're gonna get on out of here and we will see you once we are back at the hotel or, you know, doing something dumb or back at the field tonight, I don't know. We'll see you guys in a while. Two hours later. Dude, I'm getting cheese all over my bed right now. The bed bugs will eat it. <laughs> One down, one to go. Oh, 
All right, well, me and Colin, we just picked everything up and we're about to head out of here, clean the birds we just shot, and that's going to wrap our hunt up. I was one bird shy of my limit, but I have no complaints. If we wanted to start shooting right away and I didn't mess around with the bow right away, I definitely could have had that one bird easily. So there's no complaints from us. Colin shot his limit, I was one away, and this was an awesome day for us, especially since our first hunt, since we just got done harvesting sunflowers. So after a long uh, week and a half of sunflower harvest farming, it was good to get out and shoot some birds. With that said, thank you guys for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video. And we will see you all on the next one. See ya! See ya!